I showed the distinguished guests around at the exhibition. I highlighted the antique map, which showcases the joint effort made by French missionaries, including Sha Kim Bouver and Qing Dynasty's officials, including Ming An Tu, in working out a precise and meticulous map of China back in the early 18th century. I'm Holden Chow, Vice Chairman of DAB. This year marks the 60th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between China and France. To celebrate this remarkable milestone, we DAB hold our exhibition titled The 60th Anniversary of the Establishment of China-France Diplomatic Relations, Evolving Cities, Beijing and Paris, from the 6th of July to the 4th of August. The opening ceremony of our exhibition was held on the 6th of July with the Chief Secretary for Administration of Hong Kong, Mr. Eric Chen, Deputy Commissioner of China's Foreign Ministry in Hong Kong, Mr. Tan Yuan Dong, and Council General of France in Hong Kong and Macau, Ms. Christelle Dre, as our officiating guest. Our DAB Chairman Gary Chen addressed the audience. The exhibition showcases over 80 pieces of exhibits, revisiting the old landscapes of Beijing and Paris, and the cultural exchanges between China and France through Beijing antique maps, Chinese historical photographs, Paris antique maps, French historical photographs, and an antique music box of Napoleon IV. When delivering his speech at the opening ceremony, Chairman Gary Chen shed some light on the implication of China-France diplomatic relations. Back in 1964, France was the first Western country to establish diplomatic relations with the People's Republic of China. Against the backdrop of the Cold War at that time, this especially highlighted the wisdom vision of the leaders of both countries. The move indeed held remarkable significance to international politics and history. Since then, the China-France relations has always been at the forefront of the diplomatic relations between China and Western countries. I myself, as the Vice Chairman of DAB, I'm deeply honored to take part in organizing the exhibition. At the opening ceremony, I showed the distinguished guests around at the exhibition. I highlighted the antique map, which showcases the joint effort made by French missionaries, including Sha Kim Bouver and Qing Dynasty's officials, including Ming An Tu, in working out a precise and meticulous map of China back in the early 18th century. The map was done under the reign of Emperor Kangxi. It was then a pioneer in applying advanced know-how and techniques of drawing and surveying for maps in China. Before the launching of this map, suffice to say, the previous maps of China weren't accurate enough. Emperor Kangxi believed that something has to be done about it. Also a highlight of our exhibition, the ancient masterpiece of China, the classic of changes, which was studied by the French missionaries stationed in China back in the 17th century. The classic of changes subsequently inspired the publishing of a science paper by a German scientist, Dr. Leibniz, in early 18th century. His paper was about how classic of changes inspired the development of the binary system. But his paper didn't attract too much attention from the public when first published, because people didn't have any clue about the application of binary system. Only until 200 years later, when modern computer system was developed, the binary system was being applied. People began to discover and realize the profound knowledge and wisdom in the Asian Chinese masterpiece, Classic of Changes. Our exhibition also displays a timeline of major events in Sino-French diplomatic relations 
It also highlights a state gift to President Xi back in 2019 when President Xi Jinping visited France, French President Mr. Macron presented the French translation of the introduction to the Analex, published in 1688 as a state gift to China. We then understand the French people attach vital importance to studying Asian Chinese philosophy, even back in the 17th century. In a nutshell, even by just taking a glance at all these exhibits, we will understand the long history of our people-to-people -people exchanges between China and France, all the way went back to Qing Dynasty. Our exhibition also serves a purpose of national education. Kids and youngsters can learn both China's and French history, and our historical and cultural ties in one go by visiting our exhibition. The exhibition is held from now until the 4th of August, so don't miss it if you are interested in Chinese and French history and cultures. Also, kids are very welcome to join us with your parents. Hope to see you here.